Welcome everyone to my channel. This is Rika from Artisan Gift Collection and Galleria Rika. If this is your first time coming to this channel, then please give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. This video is for all these new budding beginner artists who want to start painting with acrylic. This actually includes me because I haven't been painting for a long time, um, which is actually in a way kind of good because then I'm able to understand your struggles and all your questions. I've had those just recently. So I understand how you feel. I understand that when you're a new artist, it can be difficult to make money, which means it's hard to know which materials to actually buy. Do you buy the expensive ones? Do you buy just the cheap dollar store ones? What exactly do you need in order to just begin? So this video is for you. This is the budget, but not cheap quality, but also not the super expensive breaking your wallet type of expensive. So we're somewhere in the middle and it's a good place to start. So here's a list over here. This is the list of materials that I will be talking about in this video. Number one, okay, paint. Yes, paint. You need paint <laughs> to paint with acrylic. So to put it simply though, the kind of paint that I would recommend is the student acrylic or the level one acrylic. This is how it would look like, like this. Regarding the paint colors, I would suggest getting these five colors. Blue, yellow, red, white, and oh, black. Black. Okay, why these five colors? You're probably wondering. Why can't I just buy all the colors? How come you only need those five? Well, if you can buy all the colors, go ahead. That's going to be so much easier for you. But the thing is, you have three of the primary colors. Oh, well, there's only three primary. You have the three primary colors, which means you can make any color of the rainbow using these three, just these three. And because of the white and black, you can do um, shading. You can also make the colors lighter in shade, darker in shade. So honestly, if you want to save and you don't want to buy a lot of colors, just buy these five and you can basically paint anything. If you find like a set, like a set of, for example, 10 different kinds of colors, five different colors on like these small tubes, then go ahead, get that because it gives you a good start. And then later on, you'll find out which colors actually you'll need more than others. For me, it was the white and black. Why is it that some of the paints are more expensive than others? Why are they different? How are they different? What makes them high quality? So, well, one, the pigment. So the high quality paints actually have a better color pigment, um, they're brighter, they they just look better. Um, another thing is sometimes when these cheaper paints, when they dry, they tend to change color after it dries. Whereas if you use the high quality ones, then there's less of that happening. Another one would be the opacity, how opaque it is when you put it on the canvas. So for example, this yellow right here, um, when you paint it on a canvas, you can still see the canvas underneath. If you have other colors or other like drawings underneath, you will still be able to see them because it's just sort of transparent. Now, the more high quality paint you have, the less of that transparency you'll see, which is good. You want your paints to be more opaque so that you don't have to keep adding layers and layers just for it to look solid. You basically get what you pay for. But in order, but just to start, I would really recommend these Artist Loft ones. There's also other brands I, like Basics. These are good to start with. And then once you kind of know how the paint acts, how you use it, um, what you don't like and what you like about it, then you can start exploring other brands. Um, the Artist Loft is also more budget friendly. Um, this, this big tube, this is um, 8.45 fluid ounces. This is, I believe, $10. Then this one, it was just double the size of the tube. This is $20. So, and these like small ones are like $5. So they're pretty good 
for price wise. Number two, we have brushes. Brushes. Okay, you can't paint without brushes. I mean, you can, but brushes help. <laughs> uh, my advice is don't buy dollar store brushes. You can if you want to, but I have tried that and it didn't end well. So the, these uh, cheap brushes, they actually, they lose their hairs very quickly and they, they break very quickly. And then while you're painting, you'll just see like loose strands stuck on your painting and you don't want that. Okay, so just don't buy those dollar store ones. Um, another thing you have to know about brushes. I would suggest getting long handled brushes. This is this is the long handled one. This is the size compared to the shorter ones that are this small. Okay? Why? Because when you're painting, you're supposed to hold the paintbrush like somewhere in the middle. This allows for more movement. Basically when you're painting, you can get more bigger movements whereas if you use this one, then you have to hold it at the very end and it's this just provides more I guess like stability and like strength when you're like going like that you don't feel like it'll break on you and you know I I don't know how to explain it but just get these ones um, one of these if you don't buy a pack one is about maybe maximum five dollars for one brush now what kinds of brushes should you buy well I suggest getting a small a medium and a large brush I'll show you how they look like this is a large brush, this is a medium brush, and this is a small, do you see it? Small brush with a small tip. And if you want to, you could also get these very, very small ones with a very, very small tip for fine details. But you can start off with just three brushes. Um, if you can find sets of brushes that are this long and with different sizes, maybe like a f set of five, set of 10, get those because they do um, help you save some money. Please take care of your brushes. Unlike me, for example, this one, I, I tend to leave my brushes in the water so they bend because they're just left there for a long time. So don't follow my example. Please take care of your brushes, take them out of the water, clean them, and lay them down flat so that they don't bend and they can last longer. Then you don't have to buy more brushes all the time. Number three, we've got canvases. But not just any canvas, value pack canvases. This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you these um they have these at michael's they have these at michael's um and this is a seven pack of 11 by 14 canvas and it's for 17 dollars which actually saves you a bunch of money if you can find value pack canvases if you have a michael's where you live get it from michael's um these value pack canvases, obviously, they're not like the highest quality, but they're great quality to start with. Now, there's also different grades of canvases. There's like a level one, a level two, a level three. And yes, those are more high quality. If you're going to be making big artworks like this or like a commission portrait that, that is big, then I suggest you do get those high quality ones. They will last longer and they're, they're more firm and stable when you're painting on them but one thing i would recommend is don't use acrylic paint on regular printer paper because it'll fold and crumple and get really soggy and gross so just use thicker paper or also watercolor paper works another thing that works if you don't want to use canvases that have like a wooden back to it this is another one this is a this is a pack of canvas paper. So there's 10 sheets. I think this is, this is a 16 by 20. And there's 10 sheets. I think this was like $30 or something. So especially if you're still practicing and you don't want to just have a bunch of canvases laying around. Number four, water. <laughs> um, and a cup for the water. You don't get, you don't have to get anything fancy for this. Literally, this is what I have. Look how gross it looks. This is water in a random jar that I found at home and it got really dirty but this is what I use. You can use paper cups, plastic cups, uh, a random mug that you don't really use anymore, a cup, anything to keep water in. Simple. It doesn't cost you anything. 
Number five is a paper towel or a rag um, that you can use to dry your brushes. So this is a normal paper towel. Literally just steal one from the kitchen. <laughs> You'll be fine. I like using these um, compared to rags because then I can easily just dispose of it. And you, you can use it multiple times um, before it gets all gross and you have to throw it away. But yeah, so it's a cheap option, basically. And number six, last one, a palette where you're going to keep all your paint and mix all your paint, all that. So you don't have to get a special palette like those glass palettes or wooden palettes. No need for those. You know what I use? Styrofoam plates or paper plates. Whatever plates you can find, you can use a cutting board that you don't use anymore. You can use actual plates, just don't eat from them anymore. Uh, Tupperwares, styrofoam plates, party plates that you don't really use. This is, <laughs> it's so dirty, but whatever. Basically, a lot of these things you can find in the kitchen if you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> they Basically, those six materials are the only ones that you really need to just start. If you want to get like uh if you feel like you need to get one of these let me show you if you feel like you have to get one of these like what do you call these easels stands you don't have to you really don't have to you can just do it on the table if you find that difficult then you could just rest it on top of something so that it's slanted you can find anything for that at home but if you want to upgrade then yes get these really sturdy easels they're not that expensive either so that's one i'm going to show you how much all of this costs okay um you can get a paint set of like six different colors um for 30 dollars. so that's 30 dollars. i think they're tubes about this big so 30 dollars. um next for the three brushes that i'm talking about if a brush is five dollars each then that's 15 dollars for three brushes Sometimes you can even get a $15 pack of like five brushes. Just make sure, especially if you want to make paintings that are bigger, long handled brushes are a must, at least for me. For a pack of like eight by 10 canvases, that's $17, $18. If you add all of that, 30 plus 15 is 45, 45 plus 18. 63 63 dollars and then that those materials can actually last you a long time as, it just as long as you don't like waste paint and take care of your brushes you'll be fine 63 dollars to start like your painting business sounds good to me so that's basically it for this video i hope that you got some value out of everything that i talked about um i hope that it has helped you decide on what you have to buy to start painting. Eventually, you will upgrade and have more money to buy more expensive stuff. I'm still in that process, figuring out what works for me, what doesn't work for me. But unless you start, you really will never know. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other recommendations or questions of what you want me to make a video of, or just some questions that you want to ask me, then Go ahead and comment that down below. Once again, please like and subscribe um, to this channel. Um, thank you all for those who already did. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.